Come on, Fred, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, what up, y'all, and welcome back to another one. Back down here at the river, like I promised, y'all. Checking lines, yeah, we still got bank lines in the water. And this is actually a new spot that y'all haven't seen yet. On this video, we're gonna check lines, we're gonna rebate some lines. And then here in a little bit, after we get done checking these lines, we're gonna come back and check the old lines that I just got done baiting with you all on the last video. And so on the last video, y'all loved it. We caught some good fish, some big old flathead, baby. But we're back at it. This is a spot that y'all haven't seen yet. Bad thing is there's a lot of poison ivy. And yesterday I didn't film it, but on the last video, check this out. Ivy, I mean, really really bad i got shorts on uh i am not highly allergic to it but i get it a little bit we'll we'll see because me and fred are just stomping through this it's bad but like i was saying check this out yesterday i took a mean spill right here this is really 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 steep and right here man i just fell right on my side boom i mean just nailed it hurt my skin to my arm all up actually you can see where i fell right there that skid mark yeah that that's bobby taking a diver come on fred oh he's a mountain goat today good boy but the river is coming up fast last night it came up probably two foot i would imagine whoa and everything's slick everything's muddy and everything's really slick down here though we actually used real limb lines here's our first one doesn't look like anything's on it. We tied it to a tree because we ran out. We ran out of poles yesterday. PVC poles, that is. Nothing. No bait either. I am out of bait. That almost got me. Just gonna hang that there on the limb. Let her rest. Here's another one. Check it out. Doesn't appear that anything's gonna be on this one either. This is just a little back cut area. Really, really calm water off the main river. Oh, we caught a, we got a big old limb is what we caught. Oh, and a fish. We got a flathead on there, boys. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, buddy. Oh man, they're, this is a bad thing about the river. They get caught up so bad, so fast. Every line that I've had a fish on has been tangled up. Hold on, buddy. That's another nice, nice flathead though. This is what we've been catching. Come here, buddy. There we go. Whoo, it took me a minute to get him off of there. There we go. Another decent, that's a good eater right there. This is the main size that we've been catching. Just good eater size flathead out of the Arkansas River, baby. During the rainy season, when it's coming to an end, you gotta get out there and hit it hard. That's what we've been doing. If you like the videos, you know what to do. Smash that thumbs up button for you, boy. Well, here is our next line, another limb line. We, we tied it right off the, one of the main channels and our calm water where we caught the last one. Can't tell if there's one on there or not. Do we have anything? Oh gosh, that gets deep. That gets real deep. Whoa. Do we have anything? We do not have anything, no bait or anything. Well, like I said, we don't have very many lines down here. Uh, we got one more over here, I believe. Ooh. Yeah, this one's a weird one, let's check this. It's insane how much the river has came up in literally one night. Come on, Fred. But this is where we sat our last limb line over here yesterday. The first time this one is going to be checked there's all this old metal like this in the water and we just tied this one off of this line right here let's check it out it's not moving so i would say there's nothing on there oh boy look at that Woof! something got on there it snapped the hook clean off holy smokes that had to be a big fish which I guess it wouldn't take too much that'll eventually get stiff on you but that's the last of our line checking for now well we're done at this spot uh i wanted to warn you guys i wanted to let you guys know that come july midsummer once this river finally starts to go way down after our spring rains are done 
your boy's gonna get out here and do some hand fishing. I've tried the last several years, but the river has just been too high all summer long due to all the rain that we've been getting every year. If you guys wanna see that, drop a comment down below. Uh, believe it or not, a lot of you guys always tell me, Bobby, you gotta get out and fish more. Guys, growing up, I wasn't a crappie fisherman. I wasn't a bass fisherman. I wasn't a walleye fisherman. I never fished at any lakes. This was the only spot, the only place, the Arkansas River was the only place that I learned how to fish. And it was for flathead, just like this. Whether I was a kid bank lining or whether I was a kid pulling the stringer with 40s and 50 pound flathead on it that my dad, my uncle, and my grandpa and my stepdad all caught. So I grew up on this river. I'm glad we're here. I'm glad that we're getting after some bank lining. If y'all wanna see some hand fishing, let your boy know down in the comments because if a lot of you want to see it, it's going to happen either way. Just, I'm just letting y'all know. What's wrong, dude? Why are you freaking out? The water got you weird, huh? He's been swimming in the, he just got out of the hardcore current over yonder. And he kind of gave me the, oh God, look. <laughs> Dad, help me. What are you doing, man? What do you think? Time to clean these fish or what? It is time, in fact, to clean our fish we got four i literally just lost one and i have no idea it's later in the day obviously i got the camper ready we're about to head out to the lake where we're going to be cooking all these yummy little golden nuggets oh man i have not ate flathead and catfish in a long time y'all i'm excited i haven't ate flathead in forever i'm excited but i'm gonna go ahead and bonk these bad boys over the top of the head get them cleaned youtube don't like uh they don't like us youtubers showing that so i'll see you guys at the camper Oh, well, as you can tell, we're in the camper, but uh, we're already done camping. Yeah, we're back home. <laughs> I know, that was a funny joke, right? Bob's funny, Bob's funny, Bob's got them jokes. Uh, we already went camping, and like I said, we're already home. We had fun, we went out as a family, and you know what? It was nice just sitting down the camera for a little bit camping catching some fish and we celebrated my daughter's birthday all weekend at the lake so it was an awesome special weekend that i just didn't really feel like filming to be honest with y'all all you dads out there i can guarantee you you understand where i'm coming from but here we are we are ready to cook this is what we got going on here y'all we got our flathead ready to be cut. Little pro tip here, y'all. If you're using a wet batter, like a beer batter or something like this, uh, I really like this batter. You just add water. You can get this at any Orschlands or TSC and this as well. I've been using this big old bucket of oil. This has lasted me. It's lasted me like five cooks probably. Just being sparing with it, but batter ready to go. Little pro tip here, like I said, uh, my fish, I like to dry it out before I try to batter it as good as I can. See, look at that yummy flathead, just dry. The drier the better due to the batter sticking to it. The drier you can have your fish before you put it in that wet batter, the better the batter is gonna stick to your fish. So I'm gonna get this bad boy cut up. We're gonna get it seasoned up, we're gonna get it battered up, and we're gonna have us some breakfast. Mind you, I'm hungry, it's 9.30 in the morning. I was like, well, I got a video to finish, plus I'm hungry, we might as well make some catfish for breakfast. Now one extra thing that I did, as you can tell, I seasoned it with that special secret. That special secret duck seasoning. Yes, the duck's seasoning is being made and uh, prepared for all you to purchase as we speak. Uh, a lot of you have been asking about it. I can't tell you anything yet, but I will tell you when it's available. Well, boys, I'd say we're ready. Let's take our seeds and flathead here. Give them a good tossing in there. Get them nice and coated. Now, my batter, I like to have it a little runny so it easily coats. Ooh, man, that's a hot. I better turn her down. Better turn her down, boys. All right, she'll be good now. Let's get all these bad boys in there. We're gonna have us a yummy little breakfast here. Tell you what, this is beefcake stuff here. This is pure unit making breakfast. This will make a unit out of you right here. Local beauty status. Now one thing about it, you don't have to pre-season your fish before you batter it and then you throw it in the oil. Me, I like to give a little spice, a little bite underneath that batter layer. It's just good. It, it tastes a lot better. I'm not saying the batter's not good by itself, 
which mind you I made way too much I always do that this little combination here if it's like one or two buddies just eating together as long as you're not feeding like 15 or 20 people that little combination should last you like five to ten cooks and here we are we're waiting for her to get golden brown for us here mm -hmm, mm -hmm. if any of y'all have a special catfish flathead recipe that we need to try here at the house because we're going to keep because we're going to keep bank line and i want y'all to drop your comments down in the comment section below tell me your recipe because on the next one i don't want to cook it again like this i want to try something on the grill i got a new grill to show y'all she's a beauty but maybe like pan fried or maybe on the grill in some tin foil and butter well let's say we are done look at that Ooh, that's some good looking breakfast right there real good looking oh so um tic -tac. oh boy Hey, hey, where are you going? Where are you going? Get up there. Ooh, which one? I'm thinking this one right there. Golden Little Nugget. Oh, boy, howdy. Look at that. Crispy. Just crispy as can be. My. Look at that. Just yummy. I turned out better than the last batch I made of that flathead. I think it's because I seasoned it real heavy with that duck seasoning, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Underneath that batter, if you season it real good like that, underneath the batter gives you a good little fresh just bite. You know, I, I, it's hard to describe. Get your favorite seasoning, do that, you'll like it a lot more. Oh, my goodness, that's so good. But with the spring rains, y'all, a lot of y'all's rivers are filling up just like mine. Hey, if you all like getting out there on the river, now's the time. Get out there, build you some bank lines. Heck, just like this video, you can use you can use limb lines, just as long as the limbs are green and they won't break off on you. It doesn't take much to catch them flathead, y'all. For bait, perch, sunfish, bluegill, large goldfish is what works best. A lot of y'all have been commenting and telling me to hook them through the top of the eyes. I've never really done it there. Uh, through the top of the back has always worked for me. So, either or, you'll catch them. But if you guys like today's video, you gotta let me know by smashing the thumbs up button. Please guys, help me get this video over 2,000 likes. It's been a minute. I appreciate all of you guys being here. If you want to directly help the channel, you know what to do. Purchase something from Ducks. I'll link it all down in the description below. And huge shout out to my notification squad. Y'all are amazing. Smashing that button and then smashing the video in the first minute that I post the sucker. But I gotta say that I feel privileged to have such an amazing support system like y'all. You all are amazing. Uh, being the off season here, not being duck season, you know that it's hard on me. Uh, the channel is a duck hunting channel. And um, what can I say? The season's coming. It's already June, y'all. Hang in there. There'll be some foul Fridays coming y'all's way. Try to drop one tomorrow. And then we're gonna have some hunt recaps. So. Let me know what y'all want to see down in the comment section below. What vids do you want me to do? Subscribe if you haven't. But until next time. Peace. I've been getting laid back. Baby, you should know that. I don't need your criticism. Pessimism. I've been keeping it on the DL. Got a girl that